that wasn't my hand in front of the camera just now. That was something else. Um, it's so weird. Like, all of my exciting experiences happened when I was, like, 13. I don't have a lot past then. It was like, and I guess I know why. It's because I used to always hang out with my cousin, who was, like, she's, like, six years older than me. And we were best friends for a long time. And she's very, like, crazy and impulsive and irresponsible and um, unafraid. And I'm not, but at the time, I, I, I didn't care. I, you know, I went along with everything, and I was much more carefree than I am now, and uh, certainly I never would have been the, um, the person to um, take charge and create a fun trip for us to do something crazy on. Um, but she was. She was that kind of person, and, um, and she got pregnant, uh, when she was, she was like 19, um, but I was like 13 or 14, so, um, so that's really, I guess, what changed that. I didn't really have any stories after she, um, wasn't really in my life anymore. I got a new best friend, and I guess we had our own experiences, but nothing involving drugs, so I don't know how to do a thumbs down anymore. Do you do this? Does that make a thumb, like, does that make it look cool? You know what I mean? Okay. Um, so this is a story about hanging out with my cousin, and, uh, and her friend and my friend, we all went to um, San Francisco one day, and we didn't really know what to do there. It didn't really matter. We just kind of wanted to have fun. Um, but this was a, this was a very crazy night. Um, I feel like any of these nights, like, we could have been murdered. There were so many times, like, I feel like we could have been murdered, but we weren't. So, you know, it, then it just becomes like a fun story. Um, so, the first thing I remember about this night is, um, meeting a guy, like, outside of Rite Aid, who was wearing, he looked like Adam Sandler. And he had, like, big curly hair, and he was wearing, like, a painter's hat. And we were all like, this guy's great, he's, like, super fun, he, I think he was, like, an art student and was probably, you know, 25 or so, and, um, and we were like, he's super cool and nice, and we're like, you look Adam Sandler, and he was, like, loving it, and, um, my cousin that night, like, had to say, like, Big Booty Love, for some reason, was, like, her catchphrase of the night. So she was saying it often, and this guy loved it. Like, he got it, like, boom, I'm gonna start quoting that, like, I'm gonna put it on t-shirts, you know? Um, so my cousin's like, give me your hat, give me your painter hat so I can try it on. And the guy's like, totally nice, so like, obviously. So she puts it on, and then she comes over to me, and she's like, this hat is like rock fucking hard. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Like, everything changed when she put on the hat. Like, she went, this, to be wearing this hat, this guy has to be fucking out of his mind. So, um, he then invited us back to his apartment and we're like, yeah, cool. But the whole way going there, like, I don't know <laughs> You just can't just say no. Really? I don't know why you can't just say no. But so the whole way going there, my cousin's friend, she then is not only creeped out by his hat, she is convinced he's going to kill us. So she's like, this guy's a fucking murderer. We cannot go to his house. This is ridiculous. Like, he's going to kill us for sure. Oh. And I think we were all on drugs. Could that explain it? Could that explain why they were acting so fucking weird? Okay. So, so I'm like, whatever, I don't think he's going to kill us. This is fine. He's like letting us sleep at his house for the night when we don't have anywhere to go, you know? Uh, we don't have money for a hotel. Like, what were we thinking? That's like, I'm like glowing thinking about being that impulsive. <laughs> and like, irresponsible. And we'll stay anywhere. I would never do that now. I'd be terrified. Um... So, so, 
We get to this dude's apartment. Outside of his apartment, he's like, I'm writing big booty love on the wall. He's like, I'm gonna see this tomorrow and regret it. Like, why would I do that? Oh, I'm crazy. So he's like, come on in. Start walking back towards his apartment. And Jessalyn's like, run. So we all turn around and bolt. And this dude, okay. I don't say stuff like, we bolted. It just... That's what happens, like, you're just telling a story, and then you become a fucking moron. But I, I'm, we bolted, alright? Cool. Cool. Um, so, this guy's obviously like, where are you going? Why? And we're just out. So, then we're, we're going, and there's this, we're just walking down the street or whatever, and there's this, um, hair salon. And they've got, like, music going, super loud, and they're clearly, they're closed. It's, like, midnight or whatever time it is. So, my cousin is, like, super outgoing. And she, not just super outgoing, like, she loves attention. It's her favorite. So, she starts dancing, like, dancing outside of the, this is how I would dance. She's, like, dancing outside of this place, and it's got, you know, glass windows. And the girl inside is like, yeah, oh my god, you have it. So she like opens the door and it's like, come in. And they're like having this party with like champagne or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I go over and sit on one of the um, hairstyling chairs. And I'm like, Ooh, I'm bored. Because, you know, whatever. I'm not bored. I just am not exciting. I've never been exciting. My cousin always used to be so frustrated. Like she'd be like, why do you just sit there? Like, you make everybody uncomfortable. I'm like, I didn't, I can't, I people watch and I'm judging everyone. Like, why should that make them uncomfortable? So, my cousin, um, sees that, you know, this place charges, like, a shitload of money to get to, for haircuts, like $100 or whatever. So, she says to the lady, like, do you think you can give me a haircut right now? And the girl's like, you see it on her face. She's like, um, oh, I'm, okay. I mean, she's fucking close for the night. She's trying to have fun with her friends. She's, like, drinking. She doesn't want to give you a fucking haircut. And then she has to, like, clean up the hair. But so she gives her a fucking haircut. And it's, like, super short and fucked up. And then, like, long in the front. And it, like, looks, it looks pretty good. But you gotta wonder if it was a little bit, like, drunkenly messed up and also, like, fuck you for making me cut hair when I'm trying to have fun messed up, you know? A little, maybe she fucked her over. So, <laughs> we leave. And then we go to the park, which seems like a safe place to go in the middle of the night in San Francisco. And, uh, there's a guy sitting on a park bench, and my cousin and her friend are talking to him, and I'm with my friend, and then they call us over. And, uh... And my cousin's friend goes, guess how old he is? And he goes, no. And she goes, guess how old he is? And the guy's like, please don't, don't. And I'm like, I don't know, like 25. And and she's like, <laughs> he's 27. I thought he was like 15. Like, how did you know that? Um, and this guy's just like horrified. He doesn't want to be told he looks 15, you know? Um, because he's selling drugs in the park. You know, you don't tell a guy selling drugs in the park that he looks 15. That's hurtful. So, we go back to his house. Cut to, like, I don't know how, like, that's just what happens when you're with crazy girls. So we go back to his house, and we're, um, my cousin and the dude, they go into the other room. My cousin and the dude and her friend, excuse me, <laughs> they go into the other room. And I'm, like, sleeping on the couch, and at one point my cousin comes out in her underwear with no shirt on, holding her boobs like this, and she's like, oh my god, you know he has a room just filled with pot? So, um, so that was in his house, and, um, and I did not know that, and, uh, you know, I think she said they didn't sleep with him, but, you know, other things happen, certainly. Um, I, um, none of us stole any of this guy's drugs. Like, I never would do that. I wouldn't steal from a person. But I'm surprised my cousin didn't. 
I mean, really. Like, she loves drugs. She loves pot. Like, the most. Why? Really? I'm surprised. Um, I guess once you show someone your boobs, you feel some sort of loyalty to them. Maybe that's it. Um, so, there's only one more little thing, and this is so stupid. Oh my god, there's more than that. Okay, so the next day, um, with the, my cousin's friend is the only one with money. So, she's like, I'm gonna stop and get a coffee, or whatever. So, she gets a coffee and a croissant, and, um, and doesn't get us anything because she's the only one with money, you know? And, uh, and, um, <laughs> she goes to me and my friend, um, well, when are you guys hold my, hold my scone so, so I can drink my coffee? And we're like, what? What? Why would, okay, so then we like need gas money. She's like, I'm going to need gas money. So, and we're like, I'm going to need McDonald's. So we go around asking people for money. And my cousin decides the way to do this is to say, um, <laughs> I don't, what did she say? I don't mean to be, oh, I don't mean to be presumptuous, but could you spare a dollar or whatever? Um, so like you had to use a big word so that people thought you were like a legitimate beggar instead of like a gross one. I don't know. So, um, I remember, um, I hit, I hit on this guy. I was constantly hitting on guys, and they never liked me. So I hit on this guy. He was, like, blonde and very cute. And then I asked him for money, and neither one. He was, like, not into either one. Um, but we did eventually get enough money for McDonald's, and we bought just some McDonald's because she earned it. So, fuck. I just said her name. What do you care? It's my cousin's friend. My cousin's friend is Jesslyn. Ha <laughs> ha.